So let us proceed from where we left off in lesson two. Uh, in lesson two, we, we set up our, our WordPress in the example and we activated the multi site functionality on WordPress. So in this lesson, we are going to start by installing the DVI, DV theme, and the plugins. So uh, let's get right into it. So to install the theme, uh, we navigate to this area here within our uh, WordPress admin to this, this uh, menu item labeled theme and we come here to install now sorry come to add new new theme remember we had already downloaded the different theme which as I declared in lesson 1 is a premium theme so I already have it on my computer and I promised, and I promised that I would send it to you via zip a zip file that is the email so uh that's a pro theme choose file so i have to navigate to the file to the folder where where i have uh, placed the theme so school is theme theme dv open and then i click on install now <coughs> so it installs pretty quickly. Turning them on parking. Yeah, that's installed. Now you have to activate it. Note that uh, if this was a single or WordPress site, the uh, WordPress would prompt us to activate the theme. But now this this now is a multi site. This creates a website that is about many other smaller websites basically. Now the dashboard, this admin dashboard we have uh, inlaid now is a super admin basically it's like the road the road of the other admin basically, basically uh, it means that the super admin can override all the other admins of the individual sites. So once we choose to network enable this theme it means it will be available in all the other smaller individual websites basically the admin of those, the admins of those individual websites can now can activate basically they have no they'll, they'll find the tv within the admin it will be available by default you know the other websites in other words you now the individual websites so let us network enable uh yeah so that now one is network enabled then uh, we have to install our plugins so you can navigate to plugins and Add new. Uh, I come here, upload plugin, and we navigate to your folder where the plugins are. Plugins. Start with W Ultimo. Open and install. This is also installing pretty quickly. Mm, so once again, the same concept as the thing in network activated because. Uh, all the sites need this plugin so you have to make it available throughout the network so network activate done so now we have to set up as soon as, as, soon as you install WPU tomorrow it prompts you to set it up so let's just go ahead and set it up right now so let's go yeah we want to enable registration we want people to register uh, basically we can enable domain mapping although we won't basically schools.com does not need domain mapping but uh, so we can leave it out for now now here yeah, you had asked about uh, integrate payment registration so here you can choose the payment method the gateway that you should use for payment when people are registering so let's go for paypal trial period uh, okay do, do, do we really want people to try to try okay the, in the manner that i designed the original schools.com there was no trial period so this case was zero to disable it basically people have to sign up there's a free plan that is missing a trial it's a free plan so one is not charged, so there's no need for a trial period. 
Uh, currency symbol it's okay as a dollar. Currency position left that is okay. There's more that's okay. We got us. Yeah, those ones are okay. Mm -hmm. Don't need to say there. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us not let, let us leave it at its default. I don't want to remove data because uh, it's customer data you might need it particularly. This is our of SUM digital marketing. We want to have those emails in case we choose to uninstall this plugin. So save and continue. Now, now, now. Huh? So now you need to copy. You need to copy the sunlight.php from WP Utimo directory to a WP content directory. So sunlight.php it's an important file. Basically, if you don't copy it to that WP content directory and and add a line of code that defines sunlight to be true on our WP config. Uh, then this whole network won't work. The WP Utimo won't work. So let us choose copy automatically. Awesome, that is done. Then you have to copy this one, this line of code, to the WP config file that we edited during our first lesson. So let us navigate to our school folder. Does open w config wp config get down to it says just above this statement that's all stop editing and let us copy paste our line of code right there and we save good so now our wp Utmo plugin should be ready to go. So let's check configurations here. Let's go to detect those changes. Yeah, it's okay, 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 okay. We are good. It means we are good to go. Uh, continue. Now, <coughs> uh, on this part, how does the default content? Time to insert of def time to insert uh, some default content for your WordPress network website. Choose what you like inserted below and click continue. Yeah, so template site, for instance, in the original schoolies.com, you find that there are sites like Yoga, Yoga Plan, there's a template for learning management basically. So these are the template sites, individual, the individual sites that you can choose on just on the template sites. And the plans, the, the, for instance, there's the free plan where uh, you register for free and then you get one site then you have the premium there are two other two other info payment let us navigate to schoolies and see and demonstrate what i'm talking about so schoolies does it have this message site uh, so we go mm, yeah Okay, I'm not sure that these things are going to work properly. So let us go to tutorial first. It does not get to tutorial. Okay, to your website now. It takes us to this page. Oh, sorry, I have to be logged out. So that I can be registered as a new user. And I can be registered and logged in because I'm the spot admin. So let me log out right there. Let me refresh this. Okay, I can just navigate again. Get your website now. Uh, so this takes us to the sign up. So this site is a free plan. You get one site, uh, limited visit per month. You see, we have the featured plan which goes for 24.99 per month. You can get five sites. We have the premium plan. So this now are the are the plans. Now when you sign up, uh, for instance, let us let us choose this one. Uh, now it takes us here. Now these are the templates, uh, template sites. All these are template sites. You can see the learning management of our student elementary schools. These are template sites. Uh, choose C. Okay, uh, shall be working. I shall be rectifying this one. It is still, it is still pointed to the online one. 
have to change that to point to my to my local host. I'll change it once we are done in this this lesson and then in the next lesson we can see it and see the, the properly templates properly. Basically these are the templates. Yeah, so now we can continue the next step to create the default template size and the default plans. Mm -hmm. The template site is successfully done. Now, so now this is how you choose the logo. You upload the logo for the network. For instance, this logo here, you see it appears in all the networks and in all the templates, leave your templates. So, uh, we go to the area to our resource our images, find the logo. Should be here somewhere. There it is. We upload it done. Select logo. Good. Uh, then we save and continue. Uh, yeah, that's okay. We agree to that. So now the network is ready. You activate it and your network is ready. Go back to your dashboard. Make changes etc. So let now go back to our dashboard. Good. Now yes. Here's our, so our WP Ultimo plugin. If you want to make any changes, the settings that you are, to the settings that you have made, you can here you can make all the can make the changes from the admin. Block from access. If I don't do that and proceed per user etc. Enable your pricing, quarterly pricing. Yes, these are these ones. The brands we saw right here. We have I see we have quarterly, we have yearly. This is where you activate or deactivate them. Uh, the default basically is the monthly, and that's what you see there. And the registration is yes, one there. And the next step, we shall create the, the URLs. In the next lesson, we shall create the URLs for registration and login. Uh, it is here, and we shall continue setting up basically the rest of, of the settings in the, in the next lesson as you proceed. So now you have to go back to uh, continue installing our plugins. So the next plugin we need to install is uh, go to plugins. Just install this ng custom admin. Install now. Network activate. No, we don't need to. Ask. Okay, we shall check that. You don't really need this one to be network activated. But, uh, no problem. You shall check that in the settings for WPU tomorrow in our upcoming lessons. Uh, we, we add uh, plugin. Uh, prod. We uh, need the simple SSL. No, we, we, uh, okay. we don't need to install the simple SSL and SSL in secure content fixer plugins when the site is hosted locally my website these are plugins that we install they are only relevant when the website is being hosted on a live server so we shall leave them out uh, for now so basically yeah so our theme our theme and our plugins are now in place you can see our DVI theme it's activated uh, our plugins uh, similarly activated uh, so now in the next lesson now <coughs> we shall continue setting up WP Ultimo and prepare to create now our first templates, our first uh, website templates. Uh, and also yeah, uh, basically the first template we shall create is for for schoolies. Uh, the schoolies one will be the first one, as that is the home home page. So yeah. So yes. Uh, Mm, basically this is what I'm talking about this is the template that we shall create first the home page using the DV we should build up yeah so that's it I'll see you in the next lesson